Hello, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another amazing video. Today we have Fed Works in the building, and he's generously breaking down five frames from his amazing works to us today. Trust me, it was so difficult to pick these five frames. Like, yeah, Fred, offer. Yeah, nice to be here again. <laughs> so, what project is this, and can um, you tell us how this frame was achieved? Okay, so this is for a fashion film with Daniel Bassi. Daniel yeah. Bassi directed it. Um, Kiryo is the title of the fashion film for Lisa Fogu. Folawi. Folawi. Yeah. So for this scene, I mean, you could see like drips behind. These are actual yeah. drips. Like clothes. Actual clothes, yeah. Actual clothes creating like patterns behind. Yeah. You want the scene to have light, but not too much of light. Yeah. So what I did here was there was a light coming from behind. The, the, one of the curtains. One of the curtains, and there was another um, light coming from this area, tree diffusion, okay. and there was like a few around here, if I can remember, around here. So three point lighting, one for as the back light, yeah, and this to just give us like a key, and this to film, just to feel like I mean, if you see like water has like um, this so patterns here, yeah, patterns of lights, light, light, so yeah. it was just yeah for this thing it was done. Not really so much, just three lights, one from back. So, yeah. so it was also intentional to mix color temperatures of the lights. So. Yeah, so I had like daylight here and I had like tongues in true diffusion. Yeah. Nice. I really love this frame actually. Yeah, it looks you. it looks magic. Something like from another from another planet. Okay, let's move on to the next frame. I wish I had like a behind the scene of this of this frame. Picture. I think I, I don't have a behind the scene, but it was a it was an open space. Oh, that had you, like you have also, what, what project is this actually? This is for Piggy Vest with Arasta. Okay. We shot this last year. Yeah. Um, directed by the Almighty Oluwada Best. Oluwada Best, yeah. Yeah, and produced by Lelambi King yeah. Ibuka, um, and DP by Fed by Fedworks. <laughs> So I think this this space, first of all, when I came into this space, I mean, this space is very beautiful, it's nice. Yeah. We had like problems with light coming out, coming from like, you know, like there was like a big window here, all the way here, and I had this door. Wait, there's a big, win this window yeah. we are seeing, or there's, there's another one up. up. Oh, I see. Like, um, yeah, like there's a big window up here, and you have this sliding glass, and there's another window around this area. So I like what the set designer, set designer the art director, M. Jordan. So because we had so many windows in this space, yeah. so what he did was he created this curtain oh. to block out some, uh, lights, on some lights from this, this, this place. So what we now did was the window up here, we had like a lot of black clothes oh, to block over it this space. So because we're going to be shooting through this shooting facing this glass and if you put yeah. like black clothes outside or neg on like negative feel on this um you, window window you see it. it the gaffer stanley what he did was he had this um, um he called it nd filters oh nds, NDs filters. yeah it was like 0 point, 0 0.9 1 point, but i think he used like 0 0.9 then also use like net this, on the glass on the glass so if you look very well there's like a net from here to the end so it's like a big a 20, 20, 20 by 20 net, net and there's like endies on like each of the slides of the glasses mad so that's how you're able to like first of all cut down the, cut down lights from this yeah. scene and i think major lights for this was coming from since we had the window coming from here i just did um, one light one hmi from this place to just hit our subject then we had um a little bit of top lights from i think from this area Coming on her. On her. Was this stop light? Is it like a matte light? Yeah, it was the matte light. It was the uh, four by four matte light. Okay. And this was the HMI. I think HMI 4K. Then we had like a gel, a CTO gel on it, on the HMI to key our subjects. So many black clothes around. Like there were the black, there were negs around this place. Oh. All this place at the back. It was neg. Then we had like a bounce board around this region, and it like How? fitting it. It bounce but just outside just outside just okay. fill the entire space yeah. because you notice that i mean without if, you, if, I, if i subtract this light you won't get details on like the on these guys oh i see on these guys here and so we had to just bounce so you have to just bounce light on the bounce board so this is basically your neck and all your lights were yeah, coming, from, coming this, from this yeah. area yeah 
Dope, 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 dope. Hope my That's drawing good. is not boring, Sha. <laughs> it's not boring. <laughs> this is Magic's video. What's the song again? Okay. I go wet in all, the day, all yeah. over. I mean, I like the song. Yeah. And it was directed by Demola Falomon, enjoying himself in Spain. <laughs> and, Espanol. Yeah. So, I mean, I love this scene. The art, direct, the art direction here was very simple. I liked it. It's very minimal. Yeah. And so, what I did here was. I just had a matte light two by two. The Falcon. I had the one here, okay. had one here, had one here, had one here. Okay. So all my lights, major lights, were coming from here because this was my negative area. I bought this something for it. I now had like a um, a 650 on the stand for his hair. Okay. And had like a 650 on the stand for her hair. So majorly. Um, my major key light was just coming from this other side of the frame. Okay. So if you notice like this um, light on his face here, we had like light hitting her here. Um, yeah, that's like, that's the That's basically the everything. Well, this 650, yeah, some people might be curious. I was hitting him from this side. Couldn't have this matte light like done the job. So because I wanted more punch and I also more wanted to hardness. diffuse. Yeah. So, I mean, if I if had used the matte light to light so for his hair, I mean, it's... I think it's rectangular or is it it's, it's a square yeah but this one is more of like this directional i can it's just close the band doors and yeah and, yeah, heat it it and, and yeah. reduce and put like a, I, I think it was on a dimmer and reduce i think the, the gaffer for this was gt i reduced the intensity so i wanted that very very nice looking frame very soft and very crisp. Yeah, nice frame, yeah. nice 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 breakdown nice breakdown then I, at least you guys can know how to light your next thing a mm. little bit from here what project was this and how was this frame achieved? This this job, ah no no, no I spas on this job. It's not called spas. <laughs> like, vex. I vex. Like, <laughs> ah, and Stanley was. I mean, the gaffer was giving me like ah, yeah. no, like he was. He came out. He came out for me. Like, so for this scene, um, I think we're trying to replicate um city of god yeah but i mean city of god had like a very cold feel it had this blue kind of feel but yeah. me i wanted more of like i wanted to do that same thing but i wanted my own to have more of like the warm, the warm kind of of so that. what we did here was light the room like there's no light mm. so what we did here was there was no there's no top lights here the major light here was from this window yeah and this window that's all light that was in this room and i think i was holding one astera too okay when i went to go into the closer but the major light in this room was this just these two, this two windows i think there was like a 2k blonde coming from here through a diffusion i mean i like my lights coming through diffusion i don't like blasting light yeah. directly so so we had to like soften it down a little bit so you don't have that ray of light yeah so just like just fill in the window but not, not without the ray there we had this lamp here so majorly we're just these two lights from the window doing like more of like the back lights and the key lights and the key for us. Lights. Yeah. Dope, 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 yeah. dope. Now some people might see this scene and the next thing will come to their heads that okay, let's have like one million lights. No, there's no one million lights. Like simplicity lights. sometimes is, yeah. it just just works. Just works better. Sure. Okay, let's go to the next frame. This was um Kizdane yeah. order by director K and also I'm director yeah and what, one thing i'm also very curious on this on this frame apart from yeah. the lighting is why did you guys choose to frame like this so i think when we did the recce when we saw this space and, he, and director was like bruh i need to shoot everywhere in this space and it has to be beautiful and i'm like okay no problem i got you i think we already shot here already very short this, was supposed to be, this, this scene was supposed to, be, supposed to be a night scene it was, was supposed to be a day scene Oh, this is actually night. This is night. Okay. This is this is dark outside. So I think we're trying to shoot around this place, and we came up the stairs, and we came. There's another stairs at this side, yeah. and I think director looked and said, "Ah, I don't know if you shoot for you." And I'm like, "Ah, we're not impossible now, but you just gotta give me like time, because time. I mean, that yeah. we have time problem in Nigeria. Time, <laughs> time is a little factor. So and we said, "Okay, no problem. I shoot here, but I had to like light this. I had to light this place under five minutes." So what we did was with light just be under five or the entire scene. This entire scene, f- under everything five minutes, here, yes, <laughs> under five minutes. So what we did, I mean, shout out to the gaffer Stanley. What we did was very simple. We did like an ambiance light here, like passage lights. Yeah. And we had, um, I think we had one light coming from a room here to just fill up 
this space to we had another light coming from inside this where this door is to yes. just f- to just give them like a key on their face yeah and i think we had like a general light up here like on a very long stand because i mean this is very big very long stand come down here i think we had like practical here we had another Windows, light here yeah. another light here because i mean we had like i mean so first of all you see this frame you see there's a door and um there's a door here there's this opening here there's this opening here. so i mean basically what my eyes was, my eyes was to like have the place all lit up yeah. but still have like a little bit of contrast so one two three four five six seven Mad. oh wow that's seven Mad. in five minutes in five minutes <laughs> bro, i was just shouting on the gaffer like bro i just put it put it don't worry i'm saying it oh it was mad yeah mad 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 okay our final frame how did we achieve this um this, i can see there's a lot of lights in this frame. this one there was a lot of light don't worry and this this scene was supposed to be in the day oh this is actually night. this is now this is night but it actually looks like day to me so this is a project for havana havana club um, the unveiling of Bonner Boy. Yeah. Um, we had um, director was Meiji, but for the Lagos part it was director K. Yeah. So normally you have the men playing draft. Yeah. But they wanted to show the reverse, showing women playing draft and the men cheering them up. Okay. So if you notice that yeah. the women are the ones playing the draft and the men are the ones yeah. cheering them up. I swear when I got to this place, my head was blacked out. Like I didn't I was not thinking. <laughs> because it was supposed to be a day scene and we're losing lights and we got here. And this was like the first time I was working with um, the production company, Gem yeah. Films. It was the first job I did for them. And I mean, my job too was on, on the line. <laughs> so what I did here was very simple, but very tricky was, I had, there's a door here. Okay. And up in this frame here, there's, this is like, like an opening space. There's an opening space here. There's an opening space here. There's a door here. So what I did was, we had um, one of the lights from this door come into this place to hit this woman to here. Hit, oh, I see. To hit this woman, also hit this man. So, so we had the lights coming from behind him? Yes, coming from inside. There's a door here, inside okay. the door. So I did like cross key. Okay. So the light coming from here to hit this woman and also hit this man a little bit. And there's another light coming from the back of this guy to hit this woman and hit this man. Okay. There's a top light here. There's a top light above them and there's a few lights. I think the few lights was somewhere around here. Around here. But if, if you notice the grass is behind, that is yeah, light on it. So here. there was an astera tube behind like two astera tubes behind the grasses. Somewhere here, just somewhere here. Just grass. just leave it like just give it like light. Was there light, light on the wall? So the light that was coming from this part. There was a neg in front of him, so he was hitting the wall a little bit. Oh. Also giving this man like a side light, side a back light, light back for this man. And also giving, and also that same light was also keying this guy. So basically, each, every, each of the lights were multitasking. Yeah, I think like, so man, we had like a few here bouncing, and that's how we lit. So I think we had another small light for this button. But I mean, if I was going to shoot this, I would have shot it properly, because I think we were supposed to be rushing. I would have shot this, the button better than this but i mean we just had like i think i had like a very small aperture light just light the bottle a little but, bit oh so where was the aperture light coming from it was just it, down here down, oh just like somewhere. under yeah just touching the bottle a little bit because you notice his light here yeah so yeah that's what we did um, that's it for the scene dope 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 thank you fedworks for yeah actually sharing with us um we really appreciate it please like subscribe um, to our channel we're trying to get more um, filmmakers like on this channel man. and see you guys on the next video thank you peace out